Welcome back to the newsroom. Following the murder of a lecturer of the Physical and Health Education Department at the University of Maduguri, Abdul Kader Kamal, the Bonu State Police Command has arrested eight suspects in connection with the crime. The command spokesperson, Kenneth Nahon, confirmed the arrest to newsmen. Although the police spokesperson did not disclose if those arrested were students, it was suspected that the lecturer was murdered because of his position as the examination officer for the department. And a deputy commissioner of police serving with the Force Criminal and Investigation Department at Lagbon, Lagos State, Bolahon Oyedemi Obonde, reportedly committed suicide in his private house in his hometown, Ogbomosho, Oyo State. A source close to the family told newsmen on Tuesday in Ibadan that Oyedemi, who normally visited his hometown during the Easter celebrations, told his aides at the weekends to go to their various towns to celebrate with their family members. And gunmen have kidnapped two students of the Federal University Bukhari, located in the southern senatorial zone of Taraba State. The gunmen operated for almost an hour on Monday night, shooting sporadically and injuring many other students without any interference from security agencies, despite the location of a checkpoint a few meters away from the scene of the incident. And the Private Telecommunications and Communications Senior Staff Association of Nigeria has threatened to begin an indefinite strike on the 4th of April 2024. The union announced this in a statement signed by its General Secretary Okonu Abdullahi on Tuesday. Abdullahi said that the union resolved to go on a strike because of the alleged unresolved issues between the union and subcontractors linked with Huawei Technologies Nigeria Limited. Still on business, FMDQ Securities Exchange Limited has announced the approval of the quotation of the flour mills of Nigeria's PLC 32.54 billion Naira Series 5 commercial paper notes. The notes are part of the firm's 200 billion Naira CP issuance program on the exchange platform, according to a statement from FMDQ on Tuesday. FMDQ noted that most businesses across the globe continue to grapple with the economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. And on the foreign scene, left-winger Basti Rufaye was sworn in on Tuesday as Senegal's youngest president after sweeping to a first-round victory on a pledge of radical reform. The formal handover of the power will, with outgoing President Macky Sall will take place at the presidential palace in Dakar. Faye was among a group of political opponents freed from prison 10 days ago before the March 24 presidential ballot under an amnesty announced by Sall, who had tried to delay the vote. And finally on sports, Ajax announced on Tuesday that they were suspending CEO and chairman Alex Crowes on suspicion of insider trading, piling more woes on the Dutch giants who have endured a horror season. The club said they had learned that Crowes bought more than 17,000 Ajax shares a week before his intended appointment was announced on August 2nd, 2023. And that's it on the newsroom. Thank you for joining us. I am Joy Uchejian. Bye for now.